Welcome to another episode of Mr. J's Workshop. Today we're airbrushing an instrument panel for a Piper Cherokee 6. This is what the panel looked like before we, we did the panel. It's an older panel, the plastic was breaking, uh, and the wood grain was okay for its time, but now it's time to have something a little bit modern. So uh, what we did was we, we made a aluminum panel, uh, just a flat panel, and I'm not going to go into the whole detail of uh, how I made it, because I used all hand tools. So I used a bandsaw, uh, I used a die to pop, up, uh, pop out the holes, but <clears throat> we're not going to get into that. We're just going to get into the graving, engraving. So I sent the panel out to get powder coat. Uh, I like doing the powder coat, a smooth powder coat. Um, I think works the best. The, the texture powder coating, uh, when I go to mask it, it's very difficult uh, after engraving that the, the paint doesn't wick out under the, the stencil material. So uh, I like using this Vita stencil material for all my maskings on the panel now. I used to use blue, uh, blue painter's tape. That still works really well. But I, I, I like this stencil material. It's more of a plastic. And, and the difference is sometimes with the airbrush, the, the painter's tape would get like wet like a rag and cause some spidering underneath the tape. Uh, this plastic uh, works really well on flat, smooth uh, surfaces. And that's why I'm going with the... Uh, uh, smooth powder coat. So this is a tan smooth powder coat. So I, I'll mask it and then I'll use my my scraper to get it, all the air bubbles out of it and get it pretty smooth. And from there we take it over to the laser and we're going to engrave through this. Uh, the engraving varies on powder coating. You really, when you send a job out, make sure you send a little square panel to go with it that you can test on or powder coat both sides of your panel and be able to test test one, uh, the, the back side of it. Uh, powder coating is very, uh, very funny. Some it, sometimes it's hard. Uh, you got to get the power settings just right. If you burn too hot, it, it really melts out and it looks like crap. Uh, you want to find the right power settings that when you engrave it, that, that it's really sharp and, and it's not melted or puddled or things of that nature. Uh, but powder, for me, powder, powder coating works great. You can do regular enamel paint. That also looks nice. Uh, I just like the durability of the powder coat. So now that we have it all engraved, I use my uh, airbrush. I like using this master brush with the cup on top. I used to use the little jars and kept all types of paints in the little jars, but what, what happened in time, a lot of the paint just dried up and never got to use it again. So I, I switched to this, and this system for me is a lot more easier. Easier to clean. I don't have all those little glass cups all over the place. Nice, clean system with this type of uh, airbrushing. Uh, this airbrush, you know, it wasn't expensive, but uh, you can actually regulate how, how much paint comes out of it and how hard you want to spray in it. Uh, the way I spray is really, really light. It's a real light dusting until I get a couple coats and then I'll put a nice coat on top of that. Uh, really, really easy to control the flow of paint. Uh, I use uh, these automobile paint, uh, paints called Wick, Wicket, uh, I use the yeah I use the black wicket for this job here, and uh, I'll, I'll leave you know I'll leave a link or maybe.
put it up here um, for you to see it. You know, these paints work the best. And, and then you have an option if you want to clear coat this. Uh, I did not clear coat it. Uh, I just left it with the, the paint that came out of the gun and the powder coat itself. Now, on the cut, you'll notice uh, at the very top of the panel, you'll see the Piper logo up there. I actually hand painted that with a little tiny brush. Uh, uh, it's a, acrylic paint. You know, I took a regular acrylic paint and painted the colors there using this stencil. Uh, I had to cover one side at a time until, until each side, you know, dried and then did the other side. Uh, but that's about it. This is what the panel looks now in the aircraft. It, it, it pops. It's not, it doesn't look as congested as it did before. Uh, and, and you still have room to add instruments in here if you wanted to. Um, great look. You know, I, I did like the other uh, panel, but it, it was just getting old, cracking, breaking, falling off. It just didn't look good. But now, now it really looks good with this powder coat. All the, uh, all the lettering is airbrushed and it stands out. So that's how I airbrush a panel. Uh, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, we'll catch you the next time. That's a wrap for this.